guys, it's Sarah, and today we're going to talk about the books I plan to read in February. I have four that are kind of definite, absolutely happening books, and then I will definitely read more than that. I'm kind of just leaving that open a little bit for either arcs or most anticipated or just something that will randomly pop up, whatever I feel like I'm in the mood for. But these are four that are definitely 100% happening. Okay, so I have four physical books here to show you, and then I do have one audio book that I'm definitely going to be getting to. Okay, so I picked a book for the buzzword for February. So the buzzword is a positive word in the title. So anything positive, encouraging, you know, yes, love, happy, joy, you know, just something that's positive in the title. So I'm going to pick up the Happy Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez. So happy, happy. And I picked this also for my winter TBR for five star book from a bestie and all three of my besties love Abby Jimenez like all four of us love her books all of them <laughs> so um, this is one I haven't read yet and I'm definitely wanting to read this she's an author I want to read to zero as well so I'm going to work on that this year is finishing out the rest of her books and this will help me get there so I would like to read this in the month of February I'm also planning to read my last five-star prediction, which is All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby. He's another author I want to read to zero. This will help me get one step closer to that goal. And I love his writing. <laughs> I've read two of his books so far and love them. And I'm very excited to get into this one and see what this one's going to be all about. But this is definitely happening as well. One of my anticipated books that I did not get to in January, so I'm going to work this into February, which is Sanctuary of the Shadow. This is by Aurora Asher. I have heard some very, very mixed things about this book, and I'm a little bit scared now. <laughs> but I bought it because look, you guys. Look, that, and then there's a circus tent. Okay, that's why I bought the book. Don't really know what it's about. I, I literally cover bought this. There's a circus tent and there's sprayed edges and I'm I'm here for it. And I put it on my anticipated <laughs> releases for January. So we'll see. Uh, but I'm I'm definitely wanting to pick it up as while it's still new and kind of get my opinion out there because I've I've heard a lot of negative things about it and I'm like, okay, here we go. So we'll see. We'll see where I end up landing with this one. But yeah. Another anticipated book that comes out February 6th is Kristen Hanna's new book, uh, The Women. And I have an audio arc of this one that I got from Nick Galley. So very, very excited to get into this book because I love Kristen Hanna. I love her historical fiction. All of them. <laughs> All of them that I've read so far. I still have a little bit more work to do um, as far as her historical fiction goes, but I really, really, really want to read this one. And a couple of my friends have read it already and loved it. And I'm just, yeah. So I'll definitely be listening to that one. And last but never least, you guys, it's in my hands. It's in my hands. Oh, I'm so excited. <sighs> I wouldn't pick this up today. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, w I didn't even work today, but I went into the store to pick it up because I was not going to wait until my next shift. I, I needed this in my hands so badly. I cannot wait to get into this. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know where this is going to go. I know where it's going to start. <laughs> and I'm very excited to see that because the way in the book two ended, guys, mm, I'm... <sighs> So here for this. So I got the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition. Um, the spine doesn't look very different from the other edition. I don't. I don't know exactly what's different about this one, to be honest with you. But um, this was also on my winter TBR for an author I want to read to zero, and I'm going to work on Sarah J. Mass. I only have this one, and I have Catwoman, which is part of the DC Icon series to read, and that's. And then I will have read everything that this woman has written, and that's my goal. Um, but I plan to do that this year. So let me show you the artwork in the front. Can you even? It is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. And it's the same on the back, but it is stunning. I just, the artists that work on her books are just phenomenal. Just mm, so good. All right. I'm going to stop gushing now. I haven't even read the book yet. And I'm like, Meh. so definitely... Is this my most anticipated book of the year? I think so. 
as of right now, of everything that's been announced, I don't think there's anything else coming out this year that we know about yet that I'm anticipating more than this one. So I think this is my most anticipated book of the year. And I will be reading it in February, hands down. I do want to get a couple of the, sh of, like, I want to get through what I'm currently reading first. I think I want to get Sanctuary of the Shadow out of the way first. And then I'm going to dive into this one. So, but it's not going to be long. Oh, I'm so excited. Then I do have a couple other books in mind. I have a vlog that I'm working on currently. So I'm going to read, you know, one or two books for that as well. So I can get that out hopefully in the month of February. And yeah, I'm just kind of keeping that a little quiet. So you guys can be a little surprised. <laughs> but uh, very excited to read these books for sure. And then whatever else I can sneak in there as well. So let me know down below if you're planning to read any of these. Are you going to read any of these new releases that came out this month? Let me know. And what are you planning to read in the month of February? And I will talk to you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day.